Maybe you've seen it or watched it or binged it, but there's a popular Netflix show that is inspiring folks to declutter their homes, and that's triggering big donations, piles and piles of used clothing showing up. If it doesn't spark joy, you're supposed to get rid of and it. And say goodbye. And you got to thank it, yes. <laughs> but an Action Not Investigation found many clothing charities use for-profit companies to collect your donations. Consumer investigator Todd Ulrich uncovered well-known charities using private firms that keep a lot of the profits. Hello, I'm Maria Kondo. A popular Netflix series shows how tidying up, getting rid of clutter, sparks joy. And it could be responsible for a big surge in local clothing donations. We have seen the volume pick up. It's coming from those that are wanting to do the right thing. Mustard Seed of Central Florida provides clothing to folks in need. The charity itself processes donated clothes. A lot is offered to clients at modest fees. There's no price tags on anything in here. What can't be used is sold in bulk to fund operations. But not all clothing donations are the same. Most consumers don't know a lot of clothing donated to good causes is really collected by for-profit thrift shops and recycling companies. Chances are you've seen vans for AMVETS collecting donations. All that clothing is processed and sold at these TSI thrift shops. How can we find out how much community thrift keeps? from what it sells. It's a for-profit company. TSI doesn't disclose how much money it makes selling donated clothing compared to what it pays AMVETS. It's a huge concern. Yeah, Mustard Seed we, President uh, Kathy Baldwin thinks that hurts the image of all clothing drives. I don't believe that any of the general public recognizes that the other bins are being sold for whatever the profit is. We also found bins collecting clothing for the National Children's Cancer Society. It's processed by City Thrift, a for-profit with a store in Daytona Beach. And clothes donated to the American Red Cross are processed and sold by a for-profit company, Charity Clothing Pickup. Their profits, compared to what the charities get, not disclosed. Philanthropy experts call it a troubling trend. What you never know for sure is how much money the for-profit is earning, and you can never see the ratio between that earn and what's going back. All three charities told me clothing contracts fund significant programs for their causes. Still, we found folks donating who want to know how their donation is used. Most of it should be going to folks who need it. You know, there's a lot of folks out there who don't have anything. Now, besides Mustard Seed, Goodwill Industries and the Salvation Army process their own clothing donations. Charities using for-profits say those companies pay them a fair market price for the clothing, know the industry, and get the job done.